is next. What we have to understand is that every generation has its fight. And our fight is this. It's here and now because if the liberals are allowed to start destroying our history, they'll start with Robert E. Lee, they move on to Thomas Jefferson, they move on to George Washington, and soon the entire basis of our society is going to be wrecked. And what's going to be left is their utopian Marxist philosophy, which that they're preparing us for right now. It is fundamentally opposed to the Constitution. It's opposed to our freedoms. The news at six. Tonight, one man is accused of assaulting a police officer and two others are charged with disorderly conduct in Charlottesville. The charges stem from a rally last night in Lee Park that was held in response to another rally the day before. All of this controversy stemming from the city's decision to remove the statue of General Robert E. Lee from the park and rename it. And this is 29's Taylor Gleason kicks off our team coverage with the latest on the arrest. Good evening, Taylor. Well, among the three arrested includes Charlottesville blogger Jason Kessler. Charlottesville police and city councilors say that peaceful protesting is a right, but community intolerance will not be tolerated. It was basically a peaceful protest in response to what we all woke up to Sunday morning. Um, that appalling picture that we saw. Protesters with torches gathered at Lee Park Saturday in anger over the vote of removal of the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. No more brother war! No more brother war! The effort to stand against the removal of Confederate monuments taken to a whole new level. Russia is our friend! Chanting Russia is our friend, an alt-right group lit torches at Lee Park on Saturday night because they say they're preserving European-American heritage. Denouncing the protest, Mayor Mike Signer says it reminds him of the country's worst chapter in history. I think that it was meant to inspire fear um, and even terror in our vulnerable population. That protest follows one from earlier in the day where pro statue protesters clashed with people at Jackson Park. Signer says these extremist groups are angry with the direction of the country. What a lot of this, the alt-right and these extremists who are trafficking in this kind of theatrics want is more oxygen. So I really want to deny them that oxygen. It was Vice Mayor Wes Bellamy who led the charge to remove Confederate monuments from Charlottesville last year. He says this type of protest shows the white supremacy that exists in our community. We can't be the capital of the resistance. We can't be a welcoming city. We can't be all of these things when we still have individuals who feel like feel as if it's OK to clear send clear messages of intimidation to minority communities and individuals who are not of the majority. The Blue Ribbon Commission also worked for months to recommend to city council on what they should do with the monuments. We asked the former chair of the commission if he expected this type of response from their decision. Even during the process of our work, the, the, the covers were, were pulled back and the wizard was revealed, so to speak. What happened yesterday was just tantamount to a Klan rally. But the mayor says that type of behavior will not be tolerated. We do value diversity, tolerance, difference. That is the source of our strength. That's the source of the country's strength. That's the source of our greatness. And we will not stand for this kind of despicable it's behavior. It's our duty to win! It is our duty to win! We must love each other and protect each other! We must love each other and protect each other! We have nothing to lose but our chains! We have nothing to lose but our chains! Louder! We have nothing to lose but our chains! It is our duty to fight! It is our duty to fight! On Sunday night, hundreds showed up for a response rally. There was a police presence just in case things got out of control. If they would show up here with torches at night, uh, then for them to yell was, was expected. Witnesses say a scuffle broke out at the end of Sunday's rally. Among those arrested for disorderly conduct, 33-year-old blogger Jason Kessler and 28-year-old Jordan McNeish. Three arrests were made, including one assaulting, on, assaulting a police officer. An officer was struck by a cell phone that was thrown, struck him in the head. The man facing that assault charge, 32-year-old Charles Best, was thrown to the ground by police being arrest. Uh, when people resist arrest, the uh, force is used against them. And so that's the best way not to get used, force used against you is don't resist arrest. Charlottesville police say looking through the incident will involve looking at the body camera footage from out the entire weekend, and that investigation could take up to a couple of weeks. Which is that it's not just history, but it's about the future as well. Because you have groups who are only attacking white people and only attacking white people's history. You know, uh, it, I've said it in the past. The Great Wall of China was built with slave labor. Are, is anybody trying to tear down the Great Wall of China? You know, the pyramids in, 
in Giza were built with slave labor or people trying to tear them down. No, they're only trying to tear down monuments made to white people. They're trying to rewrite the history books to demonize us and call us racist, this, that, and the other, when white people aren't any more racist than any other group. All groups are advocating for their interests. That's why you have you know, Black Lives Matter, and you have the Black Congressional Caucus and whatever. Uh, the mainstream media tried to portray the thing as a KKK rally, but as I posted on my Twitter timeline, uh, you can see Viking funeral processions or many European peoples who've used torch-lit marches. So it's just part of the hyperbolic demonization and fear-mongering about white people where they're uniquely called racist when you know that every group under the sun is racist.